Here's the thing. So in the first couple of years, the IRS is cool with that. However, as you start to grow the business, as you start to have more revenue and more expenses, what they're going to want to see are actual receipts. I've actually been in an audit and they, for a business that was seasoned, that had been in business for a while, they did not want to take just the bank statements. They wanted to see 1099s and they wanted to see receipts and they wanted to see um, you know, all sorts of documents other than just the bank statement. So, you know, this is a good exercise for the first year to kind of go through and say, okay, let me put all of my information together for the business. And then when it comes tax time, I'll have it kind of in a nice neat package and a nice summary so that if anyone has any questions in the future, I can provide it to them. So, so like I said, for now, it's okay that you don't have the receipts and you do use the bank statements, but going forward, you just want to put a process in place for you as a manager of the business, because now you're you're not just someone who's filing taxes who's got a business, but you have to manage your business. And part of that process is that bookkeeping part. So doing that internally kind of helps both, like I said, manage the day-to-day -day of the business, but then also when it comes time to prepare the taxes, you're all set.